All right, everyone, let's do ourselves a Schrodinger's cat. Right here, I ordered myself a pizza from Domino's and it made me think of Schrodinger's cat. Our local Domino's here, it's a bit of Schrodinger's cat with their pizzas. I'm gonna be opening a box and inside that box might be a live pizza or a dead pizza. It depends who's working today. Either way, I ordered it, it's on its way. I thought I'd kill some time and it gave me the idea, let's do a Schrodinger's cat reading. I'll do my spiel here. I'm Steve, by the way, from Steve's Love Tier Tarot. Tiro. Uh, it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But this really isn't a reading. And it's not a general reading either. It's a Schrodinger's Cat reading. It's a science experiment. Schrodinger's Cat is a science experiment where, I mean, yeah, I could go into isotopes and all kinds of crap. But it's got a Wikipedia page if you want to look it up. Uh, there's a box with a cat in it. Don't blame me if you love cats. I didn't invent the experiment. Inside, inside the box, in theory, the cat is going back and forth between dead and alive when the box is closed. You open the box, you find out if the cat is alive or dead. It's a way of checking which universe you live in. It's about multiple universes. In this case, multiple timelines. You're going to find out what person you're dealing with. Is your person coming in or are they not? Are they a live cat or are they a dead cat? Well, I'm shuffling the deck. As I shuffle, I don't think about your soulmate. I don't think about you. I don't think about anything except the experiment. I run it through my head. Uh, it's like a yes or no pick a card in a way, except the card picks you. And I, we're going to find out why in a minute. I'm going to lay down two cards. All right. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to lay down two cards. And face down. And I'm going to give you two animals. You're going to pick an animal. Then I'm going to flip a coin to decide which animal goes with which card. So it is pure, well, it's purely random. You know, it is what it is. You ready? Let's do it. Those of you not familiar with this, there is a Schrodinger's Cat playlist on, in, on my feed here on, on YouTube. It's a playlist called Schrodinger's Cat. I think this is our fourth one. I'm not sure. Here we go. We're going to use the animal deck for the base cards. We're going to clarify with the uh, Lightseer cards. All right? I'm going to give you two animals, a raccoon and a chipmunk, our two favorite animals here at Steve's Love Tarot. You're going to pick one. I'm going to grab me a quarter. All right. Grab me a quarter. Here we go. I'm going to flip a coin. Are you ready? You need to pick raccoon or chipmunk. You should already know the answer. All right. All right. I'm going to flip a coin on raccoon. We're going to find out which one of these is raccoon. And which one of these is chipmunk? Obviously, the other one is chipmunk. Ready? I'm flipping a coin. Here we go. I'm going to let it fall. There it goes. It's spinning. Card number one is chipmunk. Card, it was heads. It's heads. Card number one is chipmunk. Card number two is raccoon. You're going to want to watch the whole reading because I'm going to pull bridging energy. There's always a similarity here. This is where we pull the general readings, us readers. We pull from bridging energy between different energies that we read which is why thousands of people can watch the reading and not just two. All right. And hey, if that pizza arrives while I'm doing this, I'll go out and get it. I'll leave you hanging. I'll go out and get it. And then uh, we'll have a little Schrodinger's box, Schrodinger's cat here as I, as I see for myself whether I have a live pizza cat or a dead pizza cat. But either way. I don't know. It goes either way with that Domino's. They're a half a block away. They ain't going to be here in the time I'm doing this reading. They're a half a block away, and it's like they're driving halfway across the country to bring me a goddamn pizza. All right. Chipmunk. All right. What did I say? Chipmunk or raccoon? Which, which one was it? Chipmunk. Right. Chipmunk and raccoon. Right. Okay. Here we go. Chipmunk. You got yourself a live cat. I guarantee it. It's the, that's the empress. Your person is drawn to you like a motherfucker. If you pick Chipmunk, your person, it, it, this is a magnetic pull towards you. They try to get away, but they can't. Uh, give me two cards on this, Empress. Give me two cards on this, Empress. Tell me, tell, tell me, let me tell Chipmunk a little bit more about what's going on here. Yeah, they're coming. They can't stay away from you. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop spanking to you. They can't stop doing, I mean, they, they're coming. Right, literally, with a U and with an O, they're coming. Right here, the fool taking a leap of faith. Second card is the high priestess. Their intuition's leading them in. They're, you're like a big secret to this person. They have like a secret love with you. 
And they've been indecisive. The bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles. This is someone who's been indecisive about you. This is someone who can't decide. Do I want to go for them or do I not want to go for them? But I can tell you underneath that is the world. Chipmunk. The world is a powerful card. It's the universe itself. A cycle is ending and another cycle is beginning. What cycle? Well, it was underneath the Two of Pentacles. The cycle of them not being able to decide is ending. And a new cycle is beginning. Again, this is a prime example of what I've been saying about Lionsgate. About there's your person before Lionsgate, indecisive, and your person after Lionsgate coming your way. Because they can't stay away from you, the Empress. That's powerful shit. That's powerful shit. And, they, and their intuition is driving them in. The universe is part of what's pulling them towards you. And they've tried to escape. They have. But it's not. they're not going anywhere. You don't have to worry. Raccoon. Stay the fuck away from my trash cans. First of all, let me tell all you raccoons, cut the shit. Get your own food. Wheel of Fortune. I got two live cats here. I got two of the most powerful major arcana cards right here. Um, I, I, it's unreal. I've never seen... I might be getting a good pizza today. I think I'm going to get a live cat pizza. I do. I bet the right person's working. I felt it. That's why I ordered it. All right. Wheel of Fortune. Let's get a couple of cards on this live cat. We uh, Destiny. The Wheel of Destiny is turning in your favor. It's a card of communication. Give me two cards on the Wheel of Fortune universe. Give me two cards. Make sure I didn't jump the gun and tell you live cat when it's dead. No, it's alive. It's alive. Fuck yeah. It's the tower. Your person can't is living in a tower. The thought of losing you is too much for them. Uh, whatever this, they're coming out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, the wheel is going to turn in your favor. Go, I'll do some clickbait here. Shocking. Right? You see that in people's titles all the time. Shocking. Ooh, yeah. That'll make me click it. That makes me not click it. Son of a bitch, don't do that. That's clickbait. Right here. Bottom line, the tower. They can't take it anymore. It's the theme of August. Right here. Why is that tower here? <laughs> I've never had this come out. Wow, it's going to be a good pizza today. The Emperor reversed. The Emperor reversed. They, they've realized that they can't have you their way. You're not going to come to them. They, all their tricks and everything they've tried doesn't work. The way they usually behave with people doesn't work. It doesn't work. They can't be the Emperor. They can't be the Burger King who's got to have it their way. They can't control things. It, it's, it's the Emperor, male or female, I got the Emperor reversed, the Tower on the Wheel of Fortune, and at the bottom of the deck, I got the card of the Angel, the Temperance. The only You've had to be patient with this, but the only message in the energy around this card is you're the Earth Angel. Oh, I think Lionsgate's kicking some people's ass. I saw it in the weekly reading that I just did earlier today. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, Lionsgate, there's your person before Lionsgate, both of these. There's your person before Lionsgate and your person after Lionsgate. And if you're a raccoon, underneath that temperance is the Three of Swords. I'll tell you the same thing I told Cancer in the weekly reading today. This Three of Swords came up for them, Kurt Cobain and pain. It's this pain. It's this disappointment in themselves. This disappointment at not having you, not even a friendship, nothing that's going to drive them in. It is. Because it's, it's clarifying the card of the angel, temperance, which is karma balancing. It's this that's going to force them to come in. And I did an underneath here. I'll do an underneath here. They're spying the shit out of you, raccoon. They are spying the shit out of you. All right, let's switch decks here. Let's get the bridging energy. What's the same? What's common between the empress and the wheel of fortune here? Well, I'd say the common energy is neither one of them can keep their mind or soon-to-be hands off you. I'd say that, but let's find out. Give me the bridging energy between the Empress, these two worlds, these two timelines. These are two separate people. If you pick Chipmunk, this is how your person's going to behave. If you picked Raccoon, this is what you can expect. Both of you, Raccoon, kudos to Raccoon. The Emperor reversed, kudos to Raccoon. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what. All right, bridging energy here. Yeah, yeah. Bridging energy, I mentioned it earlier. They can't stop spanking to you. It's the king of wands. It's the spank bank upright. Pure and simple right here. They got your picture on their bathroom wall, on their bedroom wall, under their bed, under their phone. 
under their vibrator, under their whatever the hell they're using. It is there. The picture is there. They're doing it. They're looking at it. It's soiled. They need to print out a new one. It is amazing passion right here coming off of this card. I make jokes to make you laugh, but I'm, I'm telling you what's coming off that damn card. And we see it here, especially with Raccoon. <laughs> uh, what's going on here? Fool taking a leap of faith and, and Tower. What's the commonality here between the Tower and the Fool? I think Raccoon's person's had some karma in their world. I think it come crashing down a little bit. What's the bridging energy between the Fool and the Tower? What, what is it? What, what, what is it? What is it? I got something on my arm. Man. They're coming. The chair with a U and with an O. They're coming. Right here. The, the chariot. And they're coming with some chatty Cathy talk is what they're doing. The sun in front of the moon, the pentacle around the neck looking for some stability. They know you're the catch. It's right here. It's clear. The, the empress is the catch and the wheel of fortune, the, the obvious that you're the catch. There's some destiny here. Nobody compares to you. Nothing. It's turning in your favor. And the card of the angel for raccoon, you're the earth angel. This person over here for chipmunks been indecisive, but that's changing. The world card underneath that told us that. What's common here between uh, the high priestess, their intuition, and the universe just pushing them in? And uh, Mr. or Mrs. Burger King here who's finally figured out that you don't get a Whopper the way you order it, despite what the ad campaign may say. Uh, they can't have it their way. They can't have things. It's going to happen the way it's going to happen. That's life. You need to let life flow. You need to let energy flow. If you want to be successful in business or love, you just, you're just you neutral about the outcome. Sure, you got passion for your business or your person, but you can't try to fight the current of where things are going. There ain't a billionaire on the planet that won't tell you the same thing I just told you, nor is there a Casanova on the planet who won't tell you that. People who get People, I, I noticed that I used to, I people watch, and I used to notice that when I was in my 20s. I saw these guys get all these women, anybody they wanted, they used to get the women. And I, I noticed one common thing. It's because they just didn't give a shit whether they got them or not. They just didn't care. And, it, and that's how energy works. It drives the other energy crazy. You don't want me? I'm, I, what, what, what? You know, that kind of thing. Right here, bridging energy. What do we got? Bridging energy. What is it? The emperor is the bridging energy. The everything I just told you is the bridging energy. Everything I just told you is the bridging energy of what's going on here. I think my pizza's here. Hold on. Hold on. My pizza's here. We might be able to do some Schrodinger's cat. Hold on. So every okay, I'll, I'll wait and put the mic on. We're gonna do this on camera. We're gonna see a double Schrodinger's cat. This is a very special episode of Steve's Love Tarot. It is. This is a special one. Here we go. I gotta move the cards out of the way. I just want to talk about the Emperor. It's our last card. How's that for timing today, huh? We're done, and there you go. Bottom of the deck, by the way, is communication. They're coming with an O and with a U. They're coming. The thing, they're worried about it. Both parties are worried about it. Okay? They want to bring some healing to this with the Four of Swords. This is a beautiful Schrodinger's cat reading. I got two live cats, and I hope the fuck I got a live pizza here. Here we go. I'm going to pull it in. By the way, the Emperor bridging energy here just tells me that both parties have flipped this Emperor around. See, it's on its side here. Both parties have realized that they're not going to get it their way. The Burger King, I don't want to say it's cured. But it might be. Here we go. Here we go. I don't want to give Domino's any advertising. No free app. I'm going to cover the logo. Schrodinger's cat in real life 3D. Here we go. Is it a live cat or is it a dead cat? I don't know. Uh, how do I open it? Where does it open? Why is it? Say? Okay. Oh, that's a live cat. I got the good person working because they burn the cheese when it's the bad person. That's pepperoni and jalapeno. It's my favorite. So look at that. You guys got two live cats, and I got a live pizza. 
How is that for how is that for symmetry in the reading? The pizza showed up right at the end of the reading. What does that tell you about your reading? The universe talks to you through other people, through happenstances, through situations, through coincidences, through things you see, synchronicity. Huh? That rhymed. I'm a rapper. Look at me. Huh? That rhymed too. Holy shit. God damn it. There you go. That's your reading. This is science. This is not a tarot reading. It's tarot cards, yeah, to back up my energy read, but we just did some science here. We're way beyond tarot here. I focused on the experiment when I pulled these cards, not your person. So, again, and I did a three card quickie. I called it a uh, three cards with Steve or something. It's something brand new. It should be online. Check it out. It don't say anything too dissimilar from this, per se. I'll tell you what. There you go. I hope this reading was helpful to you. All right. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers and everyone who shares. And not only did we do a Schrodinger's Cat on this episode, a very special episode, but you got to see Schrodinger's box open. We saw the live pizza. It's amazing. All right. Good luck, everyone.